Well, hi, how are you doing after a week looking at the subject of discovering the person of the Holy Spirit? Hasn't it been exciting to be reminded of all the amazing gift that Holy Spirit is to us? We wanted to take a moment this Saturday lunchtime just to say thank you to you. Gordon, Rachel and I have been so incredibly blessed by all your feedback, your wonderful encouragement, your um, comments on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Thank you for taking time to feedback to us. Thank you for taking time to just encourage us and put a hand in our backs, as it were, as we continue to hopefully encourage you um, during this extraordinary time that we're in. We have loved being able to share with you. We do miss your faces though so we want to give you all a big hug and just wanted to take that time and just say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you also to those of you who have emailed us and just written in or have sent us a card in the post. Some of you also incredibly sacrificially sent us a gift and we're just so thankful for your partnership, your love and your care. The feeling's mutual, we love you too and we hope that it won't be too long until we're able to see you again face to face. But until then it's a great way to be able to share at least something with you right into your homes and thank you for welcoming us to do that. So that was my thank you on our behalf today. Um, secondly, I just wanted to share with you that we're going to shift a little bit in the evening sessions that we're doing. As you know, we've been serialising um, devotionals from Rachel's book, Pathway of Peace, and believe it or not, we have done 40 days worth. You know, psychologists share with us that they believe it takes three weeks to break a negative habit and then three weeks to form a new good habit. And I find that quite an interesting picture because biblically 40 days, six weeks is that biblical picture of, you know, a season in God. We often do 40 day fasts, 40 day periods of reflection. And that is a spiritual discipline that science has picked up actually makes a real difference. And so we've spent 40 days looking at that whole thing of centering ourselves in a pathway of the peace of God, where we know the sound of Daddy God encouraging us and securing us, the sound of Jesus, our heir and co-heir and redeemer, cheering us on from heaven, and the sound of Holy Spirit, who is that incredible friend who is journeying with us. And we've centered ourselves in a place of peace and taken time out to reflect. But you know, we can't stay in this place of just lingering and waiting for long. It's actually that thing of then we prepare to go out again. And I don't know about you, but we're certainly at the place where we are hoping, praying that something major will happen in the world, that there will be a real sense of breakthrough for this virus and that we will indeed be allowed out again before too long. But it's really important that as we shift to go outward, that we don't go out in the wrong way, but that we go out prepared, having fully equipped ourselves with all that God wants to put into our lives for this new season. Remember, we've been saying new means new. And so in order to help us shift that way, two things really. Tomorrow morning, Sunday morning, Rachel's going to share again a prophetic perspective and she's going to show us how that shift needs to take place and begin to input into us prophetically what we feel God is saying at this time about the new season that is coming and why it's important to be prepared for that. And then to underline that and help us and emphasise that daily, we're going to begin a new series in the evening from Rachel's book, Run Your Race something to live for, something worth dying for. And it's really with that sense of, you know, when Holy Spirit was poured out upon the early church, he poured out upon them with that friendship that we've been talking about this week, but also with an equipping to make them the carriers of something new and different for the world that was so needed out there. And you and I are messengers of the good news and we are fully equipped by God. He doesn't call before first equipping us. And we believe this is a new season that we're all entering into. And so God is going to equip us for this season. You know, I've been 
captured by this little phrase that we keep hearing, certainly in the UK in our press, of we're being prepared for, in inverted commas, a new normal. Well, that phrase, the new normal, was something which prophetic people heard a lot at the end of last year. Many of us had picked up that God was saying this, a new, that new means new, and that there would be a new normal that God is preparing us for. And it's interesting that when we hear the echo of that same thing in the natural, in our news media, we know God has gone before and is preparing a way and even the news media is beginning to resonate with that same phrase. So our heart is that this little book, Run Your Race, will prepare us for that new normal, as it were, and equip us to be carriers of all that God has got for us. Rachel, from the introduction, uses this little phrase. She said, God wants a tribe of dangerous people who will give their life away and see his kingdom come. We need to be ready, armed and dangerous with the word of God burning in our hearts. That's taken from her introduction to Run Your Race. And so this evening, Saturday evening, tune in. 6 p.m. will serialise the introduction of Run Your Race with Rachel narrating it and she'll share the introduction, she'll share the heart behind the book and she'll also share a wonderful poem. So the introduction is in two parts, make sure you listen to the two parts tonight and be prepared to be equipped for this new season. God doesn't do anything before first equipping us and making us able to live life and do it well. That's what the gift of the Holy Spirit is all about. So let me close this lunchtime and this encouragement to you with those words that we've used a lot this week John chapter 16 and verse 7 but I tell you the truth it is to your advantage says Jesus that I go away for if I do go away the helper comforter advocate intercessor counsellor strengthener and standby will not come to you if I don't go away but if I go I will send him the Holy Spirit to you to be in close fellowship with you that is the one we've got on our side, fighting our corner, equipping us and enabling us in these next days. So let's be confident. I pray you have a really great weekend. I hope you feel that strengthening of Holy Spirit as we've shared this week. Thank you again from all three of us and make sure you tune in to this evening for Run Your Race, but also particularly tomorrow morning as Rachel brings us that prophetic overview for this season. May God richly bless you and thank you for who you are. God bless.